what, what, what's his name again? What's his name? Yeah. Angelo. Angelo? Come closer. Where are you from? Yeah, he have comes. Your father. Antinians. So, four things the Bible. Danzo, your father's son, Van Benjamin. According to the. These, when you look at this board, these are the names of the 12 sons of Jacob. All right? Brother, where you, where you from also? You from St. Martin. Okay, okay, hey. Guess what? We all here from the Caribbean, Sudan, Kyoso. All of us are family. All right? Why? Because this happened to us. But you know about slavery, right? And you know about slavery. Now, when you look at the board here, these are our biblical names. You're from St. Martin, you're from Kyoso, you all would probably, you all still have to do your all own uh, research, but you all would be from the tribe of Benjamin. Now, we, we're gonna deal with that, we're gonna deal with that, but let me finish this, and then we're gonna hold, give me that numbers one and 18. But we are, we are here looking at the 12 sons of Jacob. I don't know if you all know the, the history, about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God changed Jacob's name into Israel. All right? When he changed his name into Israel, his 12 sons, Moses was speaking to his 12 sons. All right? So, I'm going to first deal with the question that you had, that you have half. The Bible doesn't speak about half and half. Okay? So, give it in Numbers 1 and verse 18. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. Listen closely. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. Go ahead. And they declared their pedigrees so after they, their family. They, they declared their pedigrees. They declared what the race they are, what lineage they come from. Go ahead. And they declared their pedigrees Read. after their families by the house of their father. By the what? By the house of their father. By the house of their fathers. For instance, your man. If you, when you get a wife, guess what? You are the one who have to plant the seed in the in the woman, in the wife. You plant the seed. So who does the seed come from? Does the seed come from the woman or the, the man? So that's what the Bible is telling us. Whatever your father, whatever your father is, you are. You understand? Now, maybe that in Deuteronomy on 28 and verse 50. Because I don't know if you all realize they are celebrating Kentucky today, right? Um, in St. Martin, they call it the abolishment of slavery. Yeah, emancipation day or something like that. But guess what? Are we free? Okay? You have the right train of thought. Are we free? You know? You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? You don't know if you are free? Hold that. Go to Baruch 20. <coughs> Baruch 20. We are not... I'm going to help you out. We are not free. We are not free. Do you pay bills? As a king, are you supposed to pay bills? No, let me ask it correctly. Does Alexander... Um, what do you mean? William Alexander? William, does William Alexander, does he pay bills? Is he free? You're playing games with me, eh? You're playing games with me. Read Baruch 3 and 8. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Let me hear what the Bible says. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day in our slavery, our captivity. Go ahead. Where thou has scattered us. Where God scattered us. He put us here because we are stubborn. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we are a stubborn race of people. Bring it out! Wait, wait, oh, hold it, hold it. Let me just finish this and I'll let you ask the question. Go ahead. Where thou has scattered us. Where he scattered us. Go ahead. For a reproach. For a what? For a reproach. So we can correct our wrongdoings. Go ahead. And the curse. And the what? And a curse. We're gonna read about the curse. Go ahead. And to be subject to payment. And to what? And to be subject to payment. You have to pay rent. You have to pay a car note. You have to pay light, water, 
Verzekering. Subject to payments. Tax. Thank you very much. Tax. Subject to payments. Like I said, William Alexander is not subject to payments. But we are the gods of the earth. That's right. That's right. We are the gods of the earth. And we are going to prove it also. Well, what's your name? What's your name? Lucien and Angelo. Lucien, I'm very bad with names. That's why I keep on. Lucien and Angelo. You had a question, Lucien? Where we should be? When we read, um, give it out in Genesis 49 and verse 1. When you read um, Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1 and Deuteronomy um, chapter 33, it lets us know, well, Israel, Jacob, he was speaking to his 12 sons on where they would be in the last days. All right, so this is Jacob. All of these is brothers. Yes, we originated from Jerusalem. Yeah, we originated from Jerusalem. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna touch on that. Just give us some time. We're gonna also touch on that. Yeah, um, yeah, this is the book of Genesis, chapter forty-nine and verse one. Hey, yeah. sisters, sisters, come learn about Ketikoti. All right, Ketikoti is not only about singing and dancing. Me. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together. Gather yourselves together. Hey, sons, come. Come together. Brother. Brother, come together. The Bible says, come together. No problem. Go ahead. And said, Gather yourselves together. So this is the answer to the question that you were asking. Gather yourself together. Go ahead. That I may tell you. That what? That I may tell you. He's going to tell them. Go ahead. That which shall befall you in the last days. That is what is going to happen to us in the last days. Now, um, give me about Benjamin. Genesis 49, give me, um, I think it's... Uh, 27. 27. Yes, 27. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. For instance, you have Sizzler, you have um, Cableton, and you had... I have to say had, sorry. I don't, I don't want to offend you. But you had Buju. Uju is gone now. He's sorry, sorry. I'm from the Caribbean. I'm gonna say it out loud. But he said, Benjamin shall what? Raven as a wolf. He shall raven as a wolf. What, what does it mean? For instance, um, you had Caesar that says, "There's no white god." We don't believe in no white god. And then you have Capeton also saying the similar thing. But guess what? They also knew some history about the Bible because this. Is a wanted man. His name is Caesar Borgia. The, pro the problem is, he's in all churches on the earth. But you cannot find this in nowhere in the Bible. So my question is, is this a problem in our community? I'm, I'm glad you're seeing you're seeing the same train of thought. I'm gonna let you know why it's a problem. When you look at, for instance, why did Michael Jackson bleach his skin? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm only going to start with Michael Jackson. I can keep on going forever. Eh? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that's going into this image also. The same thing with our sisters. Our sisters hate their woolly hair not knowing that Jesus Christ and God, so quick, Jesus Christ and God <laughs> has the same texture here. So that instead of them cherishing the hair and taking care of it, they are going to the store and buying wigs and buying animal hair even and putting on their heads. All right? So you're following so far what we are going over? Okay, now go, get me the curse, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15, because I want you to also understand what type of power you have once we are keeping God's commandments. That's what we have to come back to. We have to come back to God's commandments. That's how we're going to get rulership and power here on earth. 
So read Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Now this is Moses speaking to the 12 sons of Jacob. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass. This is going to happen. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we don't listen to what God is telling us. Go ahead. To observe. To do all his commandments. To what? To do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. That's the action word. Go ahead. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Go ahead. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these curses. Go ahead. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Get me that in um, 68 now. Jump to 68. Verse 68. Yes. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into Egypt again. The word Egypt has a meaning behind of it. Get me that in Exodus 20 and verse 2. Because um, you know a little history about the Bible? So you know the history about Moses and Pharaoh? Remember, what did Moses tell Pharaoh? Yes, exactly. Because Moses found out that he was an Israelite. That's right. Of the tribe of Levi. So he told Pharaoh, hey, listen, my people is here in captivity, in slavery. Let my people go. So read the meaning of Egypt now. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Go ahead. I am the Lord thy God, yes. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt? Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. The house of slavery. So go back now to verse 68. Now we know what the word Egypt means. Read 68 now for us. And the Lord thy God shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He's going to bring us now into slavery again, but this time with ships. Now this is very distinctive. Did all races on the earth go into slavery with ships? No. Only the so-called blacks. Hispanics and Native American Indians. So this is identifying who God's chosen people is. Bring it out. All right. So read it all the way through. With ships, continue. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again. So there is the piece where you, where he was asking, Are we scattered from Jerusalem? Yes, we are scattered from Jerusalem. Well, continue reading. We're gonna deal with that just now. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. When we come off of the slave ships, look good right here. When we come off of the slave ships, we were being sold to our enemies. Go ahead. For bad men, for slave man, and bad women, and slave woman. So the black man and the black woman was together. Was together. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. Nobody is going to be able to free us. Because we had Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, um, Anton de Combe. All of these people tried to free us from slavery. Right? Tried to free us from slavery. Only Christ, the black messiah, That's right. is going to be able to free us from slavery. That's right. Okay? So give me that in uh, 54. Read uh, 54 for us. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. This is the problem that is between the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. We hate each other. We hate each other also because of this image. We are the only race on the earth that kills each other. You're from Samantha, I don't have to tell you this. You, you, you probably witness it. If a brother steps on, on I'm, just give, I'm just giving you an example. Eh? A brother steps on your shoe. Hey, we have a problem in the house. You, you understand? You're catching me agree with it. Read it again. So that the man that is tender among you, and, and that's the problem with, with some of us. We are so tender, we act effeminate. We act effeminate. You have no men wearing dresses. Bring it up. If someone would have told me, hey, 10, year, 10 years from now, you're going to see men wearing dresses, I would have told him, hey, listen, I don't know what you're smoking, but that's some strong stuff. You understand? It's crazy. So read a piece again. So that the man that is tender among you, go ahead, and very delicate. And very delicate. His, man is not supposed to be very delicate, but go ahead. His eye shall be evil 
toward his brother. And that's the problem in our community. We hate each other. We do not see Jesus Christ in each other. We see this guy and we think, hey, wait a minute, we got to be, right, brother? We got to be like this guy. That's the problem. Continue. And toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the wife. We are the only race of people that go and lie down with our princesses and leave them with the children and go and do our next one. Vice versa also, the women. So now, the, the children are growing up without a father. God forbid something happens to the mother. Then that child now have to go and live with so-called white people. I said so-called for a reason. So-called because the Bible calls them red. They are not white. No, you know that. So wait, 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 wait. You're hiding something from me. You know a little about the Bible law. So what do you know? Okay, okay. Oh, like that. But now we're finding out today that you are Israelites from the tribe of... Israel, that you are from the tribe of Benjamin, and that we know, give me that in Deuteronomy uh, 10 and 12. You have time still? How much time do you have? Two minutes, three minutes? Two minutes, three minutes? How much time do you have? Two minutes, three minutes? In Deuteronomy 10 and 12? Two minutes, that's all I need. Mean. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Yeah? And now Israel, what did the Lord thy God require of thee? So now it's asking, hey, now that you know you're Israel, Jacob. What does God want from us? Go ahead. But to fear. But to fear the Lord thy God. To fear him. To walk in all his ways. To walk in his ways. And to love him. To love him. Remember, the word love is an action. If I say I love you, I'm not going to sleep with your girl. That's, that's not love. You understand? Continue. And to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God. And to serve God, go ahead. With all thy heart, go ahead. And with all thy soul. Read. Verse 13. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments of the Lord. And, it, and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Finish it out for what? And to keep the commandments of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, for thy good. For thy good. Is going to profit us when we keep God's commandments. It's going to profit us. Because um, give me the meaning of Israel now and we're going to close up with that. Genesis 32, 20. Because I know I was saying that Israel is Jacob, but I also want you to hear it out of the Bible. Okay? You have a King James Version Bible at home? It's, um, hey, it's very cheap. I think 10 euros. You know, but when you get a chance, buy a King James Version Bible. Everything that we say here, you should go and check it out for yourself. You have to stop trusting in man. Because man gave us this. And we never asked any question in the Bible. We never asked any question. For instance, um, get a liar. Get a liar. I'm going to give you an example. Get a liar. Get a liar. Hey, Blue Chip. Hey, second. Who is this? Who is this? We is, is dead. What have you done to live? Huh? Who are you? What have you done to live? In the Kennedy. And as you can see, focus the Bible. Jesus said, so and I. What's all you said? It's all rising. Who's only rising? You've been talking. You've been talking. You've been talking. Who's only rising? Who's 
Maar soms zie je, we hebben leugens geleerd. We hebben leugens geleerd. Zo so die flyer wat je hebt, ik zal je adviseren om het, om het te checken. Ja? Yo, 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 back this what? Look, look, wait, 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 sis, come, 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 look, 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 no, 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 sis, 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 no, no, look, come here, come here, come here, I, I want to show you something, come, I want to show you something. Listen, the first time I heard this, I was like, what are these black people talking about? But after I researched it for myself, come, come, I want you to see this, sis, come, I want you to see this, come, 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 come. So, when you look here, these are the different men who created Christianity. Bring it up! And if you look good, are any of these people our people? No, wait, 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 wait. So, remember I said, I was telling you, we have to stop trusting in man, right? Stop trusting in pastors. They have lied to us all our lives. That's right! You know why they lied to us? They gave us this image. This image is Caesar Borgia. This guy raped his sister. How do you how do you rape your sister? How do you get on that train of thought? Bring it up! This guy killed the people, but guess what? Leonardo da Vinci still found it good to paint him in the image of Christ. You don't have to believe me. Look at the film, The Borgias. They spoke about it distinctly in that movie. Distinctly. So sis, where are you from? You're from America. What's, what's your father? Is he, uh, is he American black? Yeah? If he's an American black, that means you're from the tribe of Judah, from the nation of Israel. That's right. When you see these 12 sons on the list, these are our biblical names according to Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 32. These are our God-given names. That's right. right. These names were given to us by the oppressors. You understand? For instance, let me go back to this now. For instance, you had um, this guy, John Smith Baptist. What's the religion that John Smith Baptist created? Baptist. After his own name. After his own name. Give me that in Psalms 49 and verse 11. I know we have, we have to close out. We have to close. But I just want to show you who we are. You understand? Because God calls us prince and princesses on earth. Right? You believe that, right? Okay. Listen to this. Genesis 49 and verse 11. Go ahead. Genesis 49 and verse 11. Psalms 49 and 11. This is the book of Psalms chapter 49 and verse 11. This is what the Bible says about these people. Go ahead. Their inward thought is that their house shall continue forever. So they think that, hey, they are going to continue ruling this earth under their subjection forever. Go ahead. And their dwelling places to all generations. Their dwelling places, where it is, is to all generations. Says you have a flyer? You have a flyer? Go ahead. Read. They call their lands after their own name. They call what? They call their lands after their own name. For instance, St. Martin. It's not named after our people. <laughs> Alright? It's not named after our people. But uh, Genesis 22 28. Alright? Genesis 32 and 28. Read that one quickly. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 28. Because I was telling you about um, Israel, right? Now he's going to explain it here. Because the word Israel was a man before a land, but the word Israel has a meaning behind of it. Because I tell you, once you keep God's commandments, now you're going to have power. But listen to this. Go ahead, read. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. No more Jacob. Go ahead. But Israel. But what? But Israel. But Israel. Why, what does it mean? 
go ahead. For as a prince, as a prince, like I was saying, we are princes, sisters are princesses, go ahead. Has the power with God, as with men, has prevailed. As a prince, we have power with God once we are keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. Alright, for instance, this evening from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset is God's Sabbath day. We have rules for the Sabbath. No buying and no selling for the Sabbath. So those are some laws that we, now that we know we are Israelites, have to start keeping. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.